We are going to introduce uh, the Centum CEO, James More, who is going to explain to us their performance. I understand that um, you've made a 124% rise in your profit um, after tax for the group. Maybe you can explain to us the jump from 587 to 1.2 or 1.2 to 1.9 billion. Thank you. Uh, on a company basis, we recorded improved performance on the, on the profit before tax, and that was an account of uh, an improvement in the investment income. The various elements of the investment income increased uh, significantly. Uh, dividend income went up. Interest income went up on the account of the fact that we were holding more cash and we were receiving more interest income. We also had uh, realized gains on the, on the on the portfolio. The general profitability of the underlying portfolio companies also also improved, and that contributed to the improvement. I believe the results would have been much better we had we not booked a higher cost of funding on account of the bond that we recently raised, a six billion bond, and we also recorded a FX cost, a foreign exchange cost, on the dollar loan that we repaid earlier in the year. Because when we took the loan, the currency was uh, much stronger, and by the time we were repaying, it was weaker. All in all, it was a good performance, and it is in line with our objective to consistently uh, deliver results and performance that uh, exceeds, that performs, that performs the market. Number one, do you want to know how much did you pay and the much you lost during the repayment uh, of that foreign loan? We suffered an FX loss of about 270 million shillings, uh, give or take. Oh, your biggest investment in real estate um, is Two Rivers. I don't know where we are when it's opening. We understand it's supposed to be open in December. Yeah, so, we'll keep following. So, okay, on, 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 on real estate, we are developing. We have, we, have two, we have two projects. There's Two Rivers, there's Palmarina, there's Vipingo. To come to your question, on Two Rivers, we are targeting to open in March. We have 220 outlets. So far, we've signed up 190. Our opening date is driven now by the date when we can get as many of our tenants ready to open. Uh, it is not our desire to open a center with, with, with few tenants because the key thing, the, the, the multiplicity, the tenant mix is what creates the experience. And we have recently recruited a general manager for Two Rivers uh, from Spain, he's joined us. We are working very well with our tenants. And uh, I think we'll be gearing up possibly for a soft launch where we'll invite the media in December. And, uh, and a formal opening in, in mid-March, just ahead of Easter. Uh, you've touched on appointments. I don't know how many appointments you made this, this year, and what does this mean to, uh, to Centum? We, we've made a number, because uh, one of our strategic uh, objectives is focus. And focus, uh, we are focusing on developing investment grade opportunities in very specific sectors. And what we've been looking to do is to build capacity in those sectors. So in, in, in real estate, we brought in uh, Pedro, who joined us from Spain, he was managing the second largest center in Spain. He has over 10 years' experience. It was a result of an international recruitment exercise. In healthcare, we have recruited a lady called Farai Shoniwa. She joined us from Life Healthcare, where she was in charge of uh, strategy. And she's a medical doctor. She has an MBA from Harvard. She's a CFA. And she's leading the process of developing our business in healthcare. In agriculture, we recruited uh, Steve Chege, who joined us from a leading agricultural farm. He's also working on uh, developing a business in, in agriculture. Within Centum Capital, we've recruited a number of people. We recently announced that in the papers. Uh, we're also recruiting on the graduate program. We, we're really building the capacity so that the capacity can match the, the ambitions and, and really bringing world-class capabilities in the organization. Maybe lastly, on your net, what is your net, someone would know, what is your net access value for Centum at the moment, including what you're managing and your investment? Our, that, that's a good question, so let me answer it this way. In terms of total assets that we are managing, both center money and client money, we are at 191 billion shillings as at September. In terms of Centum's own assets, uh, we were at 47 billion. In terms of the net book value of shareholder funds, net asset value per share if you are a shareholder, and net asset value is a very conservative measure of the value of the company, of the intrinsic value of the company, we close September at 52 shillings and uh, about 52 shillings. So that's where we are. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.